So normally this is where we actually pop into the truck, but I just wanted to give you guys like a full 360 walk around on this truck. So that's third gear, by the way. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat with a really cool interior and exterior specification. You guys are gonna love this truck, but first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this F-150 Lariat. Check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get straight into the video. So under the hood of this particular Lariat, we have the twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 known as the EcoBoost that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 400 horsepower and then 500 pound feet of torque. Let's go to the front end of this particular Lariat. So the first cool thing about this truck is it is finished in a really unique paint color. So this color is called Guard and it's like a really dark metallic green. It's kind of like a bluish green is the best way for me to describe it in terms of what it looks like in person, almost like a turquoise color. Absolutely beautiful, but you guys can see it's pretty stealth. Like when you're far away from the truck, it almost looks like it's gray. So it doesn't look like crazy or anything like that. But then you get close and you see this beautiful metallic green and definitely one of my favorite colors on the new F-150. And then since this is the Lariat, you do get the full LED projector bulbs here with the LED accent lights that go all the way down to the fog lights, just in that little area. Still get parking sensors along the front. And then the thing that I really love is how they've integrated the grill here into the light. So you have the chrome that goes into the LED accent light of the light. I think it looks really clean. You got that little camera there just below the Ford logo and then the chrome tow hooks. But yeah, I think this is the first truck ever that I actually really like the look of, even though it has a bunch of chrome accenting. And I'm usually all about, you know, having a blacked out truck. I come around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then we've got these nice chrome side steps there on the side of the truck. And then they did do the chrome wheels, which matches the rest of the truck with the bumper accents and the side step accents. And then also a little venting right here is finished in chrome. It says F-150 Lariat. And then you do have chrome there on the top of the mirror and the door handles. So it all pulls together. And like, look at it from this angle. Like it's, it's pretty hard to tell that it's a green truck. It's just like, kind of looks like a, you know, grayish blue maybe. Let's go over the bed in this particular Lariat. So you still get the little measuring tables here on the back of the tailgate with that plastic covering. And then you've got LED lights here in the rear. And then on top of that, you do get a full power outlet just under that little area. And then this one does have the shorter size bed for the Super Crew, which isn't too bad. In terms of the payload though, it's about 1,658 pounds with this particular truck. Let's go over the rest of the rear. So you got the little FX4 sticker, and then we've got these full LED lights here in the rear. You've got all your parking sensors on the chrome bumper with the receiver hitch down below. The towing capacity on this truck is about 9,700 pounds, and then you got little exhaust tips sticking out of the side. But that is the rear of this F-150 finished in guard. So normally this is where we actually pop into the truck, but I just wanted to give you guys like a full 360 walk around on this truck so you can kind of see how the color looks just in different lighting. It's just really cool. I love this color. You can kind of see how it changes from that kind of like bluish to like a bluish green to here on the shadow side, it kind of looks more like a gray, just a super, super unique color. And again, I feel like this is just the best looking color here on the new F-150 with like the chrome on it, obviously. I know you guys might differ from my opinion, but like, yeah, I just think it's such a good looking truck from pretty much every single angle. Look at that. And then when you go directly in the sunlight, just look at that metallic flake. Now here's the door panel on the rear of the new F-150. This is the other cool part of the interior on this. So you can see that we've got this light gray mixed with the darker in the top portion of the door handle. And the rest of the door is kind of like that lighter gray. And they might be wondering why are the seats flipped up? Well, this truck has a cool little contraption. So you actually pick this little part up here and then this is kind of hard to do with one hand, but there's a little lock right there and you've got the little storage tray. And then when you're done with it, you just push that down and then you push the tray down and then you pull the seat down and you're good to go. But let's actually pop in. So stepping in the side step there makes things really easy to get in and out of the truck. If you're wondering, I'm 5'11". If I sit all the way up, got like a little bit of room left. And then in terms of my leg room, it's pretty solid. 
Got a couple of cup holders right here. You've got some heated seats down here with a bunch of little areas we can charge some devices. And then in terms of the seats, again, you've got that gray that's on the door, which I really like. This is the little like cup holder thing. But I love how they mix with the uh, gray and then they kind of have like the dark cloth there on the side. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool just like the contrast between the different elements of the truck. But this is the back of the Lariat. Now here's the front door panel. It's the same as the rear. So again, you've got that darker gray with the lighter gray just down below. All of your window controls here in this little area with your mirror controls. And this does have the little extending mirrors because it does have the trailer mirrors. And yes, they also do have blind spot monitoring. And then you can see right down here, you've got your little memory seat controls, your window controls, and then pretty cool looking trim right there. And then here are the front seats, which again, you've got the perforations all throughout on the seats, which look really cool. And all the way down here in this portion of the seat. And then you can see right here, you have the mix between uh, the gray and then kind of like the black or like, it's kind of like a really dark gray black color basically. And then we've got our adjustments there on the side of the seat. You can see a little pedal layout right there. And then you've got the pedal adjustment right here with the parking brake, your light controls, and then you got the mirror lights out either side with the tailgate drop down. The steering wheel is automatically adjustable. And something I just realized, the seat says Bang & Olufsen. I wonder if this is actually a speaker. Hmm. Now here's the steering wheel in the F-150 Lariat. So we've got soft touch all around the steering wheel itself. And then here we can see we've got our controls for the center stack, your phone controls, voice command, volume controls over here. And then you've got your adaptive cruise control system on this side. Got a little stock there for the turn signal and then the windshield wipers as well. But other than that, pretty straightforward uh, steering wheel setup. I've got the center gauge cluster here with this particular Lariat. And this has the full digital readout, which I think is just really cool. I love the look of it. Um, going through the rest of the screen itself, you just have a couple different menus that basically give you different bits of information on the truck and you can pull out the little menu to go through all the different stuff. Nothing too crazy. It's relatively easy to use this little menu thing. Um, just looks really cool. But the coolest part is actually the drive modes. So you've got a bunch of different drive modes you can go through. You've got the normal, you have the slippery, and then you've got the deep snow slash sand, and then you have the mud and the ruts, and then you got the rock crawl. It gives you a little animation, and also it changes the gauges as well. You can kind of see the gauges turn to like that earthy color for that particular drive mode. And then the other side, you've got the tow haul, which is a little trailer, which is pretty neat, the eco mode. And then finally, you do have the sport mode as well, which makes the gauges look kind of like futuristic and aggressive. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. You guys can see what the backup camera looks like. You've got these nice little trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel and then you do have that bird's eye view, which you can zoom in onto any portion of the truck with this little bird's eye thing on that portion. And then with the rest of the camera system, you can see that there's a bunch of different viewpoints you can see out of. You can just go full backup camera and yes, you can zoom in on the receiver hitch if you'd like. And then you can see kind of like more angles out of the back right there. And then you do have a cargo camera that comes with the truck and then it does zoom in um, with that as well. You got a little plus minus button for that. And then finally, you can see here for the sides of the truck, you can kind of go to the other side. If you're wondering why the truck's beeping, it's because I don't have a trailer on and it assumes that I'm using this for a trailer. But I think it's pretty cool that it shows you the sides of the truck. But that's the whole camera system set up. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, you can see you've got a bunch of controls there at the top. So you've got your hill descent control, stability control, hazard lights. This is your parking assistance, your little camera button that I was going through. And then you can see the little auto stops. Right? And then for the rest of the infotainment system, response time on it is really solid. Basically, they just took um, Ford's like newest version of their infotainment system, made it a lot bigger, if that makes sense. Because um, you have a little side screen right there and it just is a little bit more responsive as well, which is pretty cool. It's just easy to use. You've got the navigation on the screen. You can see everything I touch pretty much happens instantaneously, and sorry about the uh, jet sounds there in the background. Now this does come with the trailer backup system, and then just down below we've got our trailer brake controls, and then we've got our little drive mode select with our drive line select. So you've got your two-wheel high, your four-wheel high, your four-wheel low, and then your four-wheel auto. Volume controls here in this little area, and then you can see you've got your dual zone climate controls, heated and ventilated seats, and then a heated steering wheel for the driver. And then we do have the little 12 volts with a full power outlet. And then this is just a little covering here for this area with the truck. And then you can see that we've got a little USB there, phone holder right next to it. And then we've got a couple cup holders here. And then this is the shifter for the truck. So just like all the other new F-150s, it does fold down, which is pretty neat. You've got the nice leather there at the top of the stitching all across. And then the manual shift function, if you do want to shift the gears yourself, just press the M mode. And then you've got little buttons right there that you can basically just shift the gears with. Now here's the center console. You can see that you have the black with the gray that goes throughout the rest of the truck, which is pretty neat. Opening it up, storage space pretty good. And we've got a window sticker in there. That's pretty cool. We'll go over that in a little bit later. But we've got the glove box here. 
Nice dual glove box again. You got the gray, and then I really like this trim here, especially on the top. You can see the texture on it, it looks really cool. Same thing with the glove box, and then you got more of the soft touch and the stitching there at the top portion. But that's all uh, that portion for the truck. So the shifter is folded down. Hmm. Ah. Pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. Very top here, we've got our sunglass holder, and then you do have the little control for the rear window no panoramic sunroof and then we do have the universal garage door openers and then you've got the gray headliner which matches the rest of the theme of the truck now i got the whole window sticker here for the lariat and you can see the color there guard and then you've got the interior slate leather trim bucket pretty cool but feel free to freeze the frame on any part of this you guys can see all of the equipment that this particular truck has with it and then we've got all of our options which uh there's plenty of options with this truck. So you guys can see the pricing over here for the truck. So you got the starting price at 50,000, but then you got $16,000 in options, which brings it up to 67 or 68,000, but then you get a $1,500 credit for getting the Chrome package, which brings the total price to $67,205. Let's take this Lariat out and see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here in this F-150 Lariat. So you guys can see visibility over the hood. It's actually pretty easy to see in terms of uh, truck standards, especially compared to these uh, Shelby trucks that have like massive hood vents and all that kind of stuff. And then you can see the visibility through both of the mirrors is really good. They're just absolutely massive and they do have blind spot monitoring. And then here's all throughout the rest of the rear. So again, visibility throughout most of this truck is just really solid. And that all being said, well, let's set off. So we are initially setting off here in this F-150 Lariat, and I'm gonna mention this in all of my newer-ish videos that I've been filming lately. Let me know if you guys like this new uh, point of view with the GoPro setup. If you guys don't like it, let me know if you like it, then I'll keep doing it this way. I kind of just changed how I have the camera set. Um, but initially setting off, just like all the newer F-150s, super smooth with the ride quality, um, just like getting up and going. And then I'm actually going to switch it over into the sport mode because we are gonna be getting acceleration up here in just a moment. And I'll actually do the manual mode as well. And this will be pretty cool because this will be the first time um, that I actually get, actually no, this is the second time that I get the new F-150 on the highway. But this will be the first time that I get the EcoBoost um, up onto the highway. So I'll be able to see kind of what the acceleration is on this EcoBoost and kind of just uh, what it's all about. I'm gonna create a little bit of space here with me and the person in front of me. And don't worry, this truck actually actually has some miles on it um, because it's a demo. So I will be able to uh, actually be able to get into it a little bit. So that's third gear, by the way. Ah, that's quick. Man, actually getting that up onto the highway, this might be, I really need to do like a, <laughs> drag race or something with my Raptor against one of these new F-150s. This might be, it's pretty close, I feel like. It is pretty dang close. Like if I just pedal down. Yeah, at the top end, it feels a little bit slower than the Raptor, but it's close. I mean, from, from a dig, if you did this, if you did this from like a dig, it would be really, I think they might almost be the same. Uh, zero to 60 it'd be, it'd be really close between them um, but the rest of the highway stuff really nice the ride quality is really smooth definitely has a luxury truck feel to it the brakes coming up here i kind of you always have to kind of make a quick stop because you're going from highway speeds to this and the brakes are really good with the truck the stopping power is really solid and we'll kind of see how the handling is on this lariat yeah Handles really nice. Definitely has a lot less body roll than my Raptor. My Raptor kind of like, obviously because the suspension has dips from one side to the other and this definitely is a lot more composed. Gosh, this EcoBoost is quick. It's not as loud as my Raptor because I've got an exhaust on it, but it's quick. And I mean, other than that, it's just a nice truck and that'll actually get me into some of the things up here with this particular F-150. So first off, from an interior and exterior perspective, Everyone knows that the new F-150 is absolutely fantastic. Ford's just definitely stepped things up. All the touch points are really nice material-wise. And the stuff that isn't a touch point that um, basically just look at that you aren't gonna touch, even though they haven't made it basically feel the nicest, it still looks really nice. And that's all that really matters. Like here on the dash, who cares if this is like the softest material, but I do care about the fact that it looks nice and looks uh, well put together. 
And then in terms of this particular truck, I love the spec on it with the green and the gray. I think it's just really cool. It's really unique. Like you're just not gonna see very many trucks with this specification or really any. Um, and then in terms of just like this truck as an overall package with the performance, all that kind of stuff, it's crazy. Um, right here, I'm not sure about the exact elevation here. Where I live is about 4,500 feet elevation. I'm guessing this is somewhat similar in terms of elevation. This might be even a little bit higher um, than where I live. And so this twin turbo V6 just does such a good job. You are missing out a little bit with the sound compared to a V8, but Ford offers the 5.0. You guys saw my review on the 5.0. Absolutely love the sound of that engine. But if you're looking for a higher towing capacity, you're looking for more torque, more power, then the EcoBoost is gonna be the route to go. And if you guys are looking at the new F-150, I would check it out in this new guard color because this is such a cool looking color. I just love it on this truck. It works really well. Now that's going to finish things up for our video on this 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat finished in guard. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford for giving me some time with this Lariat. Check out their inventory in the link below. I'll see all of you in that next video.